everyone, welcome back to Crafter's Log. I am Carrie, and uh, today I am going to, um, this is a follow-up to one of the Miss Quilty boxes that I recently got, and the project that I did. Um, I, uh, so this is my third box, my third project, and it, with each of the instructions, there was something wrong and something off, and they weren't matching up my block. So I did the tulip block. Here it is. Um, great. So, uh, I had to choose, um, I didn't have to. So let's just start with, with how this looks. I'm not super unhappy with it. Um, I did, <laughs> that's on the wrong side. So you can just see a, a slight color, just right, you know, color is off a little bit. But the blue I chose myself because um, this background um, fabric was not included in the kit. Um, and nor was this green. This green wasn't part of the kit. I chose that from what I had um, because it's leaves and stems and I wanted it to be green. Um, just to kind of set it apart and give it a little bit of pop in there. Um, not overall unsatisfied with it. This should have been um, a finished product of... A 12 by 12, 12 and a half by 12 and a half. It's 11 by 11. Um, so, and that happened with the very first project that I did. It came out shorter than what it should have been. A um, couple of things. So, um, there, there, it's a lot of, a lot of great stuff in here on what you need to cut. Like I had to cut and label there is one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve different sections that needed to be cut from this they gave the sizes of it um i followed it with a quarter inch seam on everything um however reading the instructions um step two i had to place two items two squares on a four by seven uh, rectangle. There wasn't one item in here that was cut to four by seven. It was three and a half by six and a half. So that was an issue that I was running. So that was the first one. And that rectangle, that, that four and a half, that four by seven rectangle was used in one, two, three, four, five, five steps. So, Hmm. Um, and that was, um, let's see, four and a half by seven. That was going to be rectangle. That's A. So this little guy here was the item that they said that should have been four by seven to begin with. It looks cute. It matches. Well, no, kind of looks a little off, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm not unhappy with it, but I'm thinking that's where this pattern may have fell a little bit. Um, because these numbers weren't matching up with what was actually cut. The second part was, uh, this piece here, um, indicated in their thing. It should have been on their instructions. It was seven by seven. However, it was cut per their instructions. It's, uh, six and a half by six and a half. So I'm thinking that a half an inch should have been added to each dimension of this project. I could be wrong because I, I, yeah, I don't know on how that should have worked, but I'm kind of thinking that's maybe where it kind of went wrong. Um, and so, and it just went down there and it went downhill from there. Cause there was a section in here, you know, I had to trim to match up the sides and it just seemed like it was getting smaller and smaller, but this project did not end up as small as my last one did. Um, but anyways, um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy with it, but the instructions, this was labeled for a beginner, uh, wasn't bad. Um, by the time I got everything cut and sewn together, it probably was about an hour and a half to me. I thought that was kind of long, but it was new for me and doing all this kind of stuff. Um, and also there was a part in here where it told me to look at the photo and it would show me which direction to press everything. 
here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's no iron in this picture. And no, I'm not, I'm not silly like that. But I think I had a puckering um, because my, everything in the back, I was trying to make everything in the back flat, but when you get some overlaying of everything, um, it was kind of up, coming up all wonky when I was trying to sew it again. So I wasn't quite sure. Maybe I folded it wrong or maybe I pressed it wrong. I don't know. I do. I still think it's super cute. Um, did not take up nearly as much fabric. So there is another project in here. I think I'm going to do the garden apron just to kind of follow up with um, another instruction pattern because again, this is the third book and this is the third time that there was issues with a project that I've done um, because the measurements were not correct. I did, however, do, okay, so this is Hiccup. You've seen him in other videos before. Um, I need one of those baby, uh, they're not papooses, but those big old things where I can strap him on, you know, like it would be, um, like it would, like you would a baby. Um, that way he can be in here close to mama. But anyways, um, Miss Quilty did post on their Facebook page asking for um, about 10 new beginner sewers to kind of look at patterns and so the project, and I'm totally interested in that. So if somebody from there happens to see this video, love, I would love to be a part of that program. I would love to help um, fine tune these patterns from a beginner standpoint. Um, love it. So you know where to find me. Let me know if I can be a part of that group because I think that'd be fantastic. The fabrics were great. I am going to work on the gardening apron on this one. Um, for my next one because I do have a lot of the fabric left over so I'd like to give it another try I haven't looked at it to see how the measurements the measurement cuts compared to um, the instructions because that's where part of it the first two patterns that I've done I see that's where it's fallen short is the instructions for cutting the fabric measurements are not matching to the instruction measurements I don't know how but I want to be a part of the solution if you'll let me. Um, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have you had issues similar to what I've had um, with the measurements that are you're supposed to cut or not matching up to the instructions? Because I know we don't all get the same boxes every month. Um, so I'd like to hear how you feel about these boxes. Um, I know there's going to be negative comments, but I'd also like to hear the positive that you're finding with Miss Quilty because I do believe that they're getting better. I've noticed a difference in their fabrics, um, but it's going to take a village uh, of positivity and uh, constructive criticism to make this change and to make it work for everybody. But anyways, thank you for stopping by. I'd love to hear what you have to say and um, stay tuned for an apron. <laughs> Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.